everyone, welcome back to our channel, Rebecca's Doing the Crew. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Nathaniel. And today we're going to be making a Valentine's themed photo display. Let's get started. All the items you need to create this project can be found at Dollar Tree. The first thing you're going to need is three of these glitter covered styrofoam hearts. You're going to need a package of these battery operated LED lights. You're going to need some burlap ribbon some fix-it-all adhesive, different colored twine of your choice, some miniature clothespins, zip strips, a stapler, and then a pair of scissors. Also for this project, what we've decided to do for the center heart is we're going to add this word love. Now this is an ornament that we purchased at Dollar Tree at Christmas time. Obviously the Christmas items are now long gone so um, if you wanted to use something similar to this and you can't find something at Dollar Tree though you probably can. They're well stocked. They're putting out all of their Valentine's Day stuff. I was just there the other day and they had a lot of stuff out so go ahead and look there. If you can't find something that you want to use there Hobby Lobby and Michaels always carries very similar items that are not very expensive and if you do find something that you can use at Hobby Lobby, don't forget to use your 40% off online coupon to make it even cheaper. Okay, so the first thing we did is we took our LED lights out of the box and we put in the two AA batteries and made sure that they worked, and they do. So the next thing we did was we started to use our stapler. We just opened it up and we started to staple the wire on the back. Now this is just craft foam, so the staples aren't going to stay, but this is gonna hold it in place so we can give it some drying time when we use our fix-all adhesive. And I'm just gonna put the fix-all adhesive right over top of all of the staples just to help keep it in where it's going to need to be. So this is just gonna stabilize it for now. And then the back of this heart, we're going to put the burlap on. So we don't wanna glue this battery door down yet because the burlap is gonna actually go underneath of here. And that'll help hide these corners um, from the front. So that's why we're not gonna glue that down yet. So it's gonna be a little bit um, hands-on here trying to get everything put in place without this falling off, but um, it's doable. So the first thing I did was I just wrapped this ribbon up because this is the excess coming out of the battery box. And then the first light starts here. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to, all I do is I line my stapler up and I put it right in the center of the wire. And then you can see how that goes. So just make sure that you can see all the LED lights from the front. Okay, so we finished stapling on the LED wires, and like I said, the staples aren't meant to hold it in permanently. It probably could once we put the burlap on, but I don't really trust it because they do just pop right out. It's just craft foam. So I'm going to use that fix-all adhesive to put over top of all of these to really hold them in place. So as you can see here, I just kind of snaked the wire around the inside, and then I folded the lights so that they would kind of be visible from the front. So they just kind of all go over the lip. And then I tried to space them out as evenly as I could. And this battery door still isn't attached. I'm going to do that after I, uh, we attach the burlap to the back. So that's where we are with the project. And this is all done on the back. And this is going to be the center heart of the project. So now we're going to do step two, which is going to be attaching all of the hearts together. Now attach your hearts together using the zip strips, also known as wire ties, up at the top like you see here. So now you're going to just go ahead and cut off the excess zip strip and try to get as close to the square as possible. And then now we're going to go ahead and wrap it with the twine. So I went ahead and I wrapped the twine around the hearts to make it a little bit easier to get started. I'm then going to go ahead and take some of this adhesive and just put a little bit on the zip strip. And then I'm going to continue wrapping it the rest of the way around. And at the very end of this, we're going to go ahead and tie the twine together at each end. And then be careful with this because you want to make sure that you have it all the way around the zip strip to go ahead and hide it uh, for decorative purposes. 
Okay, so now that all the twine is done being wrapped around, what we noticed on the front is that we made a slight mistake. We left the little squares to the zip strips on the front. We should have actually turned these around so that they were on the back. So what we're gonna do is um, simple. We're just gonna make a small bow out of the twine and hang them right in the front to hide it. So all I'm gonna do to make this bow is I'm gonna take two pieces of twine. I'm gonna use the red and the, the um, brown. And I'm just gonna wrap it around three fingers a few times. And then I'm gonna cut that off. And then taking um, another piece of twine. So I'm taking this twine, once I wrapped it around my fingers, I take my middle finger out and then I just take a piece of twine and tie this around the center in a small knot and that'll make a, a very simple bow. And then using the Fix All Adhesive, I'm just going to place that right in the center of um, the twine that we had wrapped around previously. And then that hides the little square to the zip strip just fine. So now what we did is we took our roll of the burlap ribbon and we cut three strips of the ribbon for each heart. So it's going to take three rows of ribbon to cover the opening of the heart. So I cut three of the larger ones, which will go at the top, and then three medium size. I just kind of measured them and then cut. I measured for one and then I cut three. So that'll be for there, and then I cut the smaller one for the bottom. And so I'm just going to glue this on in steps. So using the Fix All Adhesive, I'm just going to put some of that glue around the outside of the heart here and then I'm going to go ahead and put the first um, row of burlap on and I'm going to pull it kind of tight to make sure you know it doesn't have like gaps and stuff in it and then I'm just going to continue this process and finish covering the opening of the heart and then I'm going to do that for all three when that's done we're going to come back and we're going to glue down the battery door so we just got done putting the burlap on the back of all the hearts and letting that dry for a little while. So now we're just going to go ahead and take the battery pack and glue it to the back of the heart. Alright, and the reason why we're not using hot glue on this project is because hot glue will melt the foam. And now you guys are going to want to go ahead and let this dry for a few hours before you flip so it So now away. using our Fix All Adhesive, we're just going to go ahead and glue the sign down on each side and the top. This will also give it the illusion that it's hanging by stretching the string out. And then we're also going to go ahead and take another bow and then glue it down over top the string. Now taking our twine, we're going to put on the picture hanger. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure it to length so it will wrap all the way around the top of the heart on both sides. We're going to then hang this little clothespin in the middle to hang our pictures from. And then we're going to repeat the process on the bottom. The first thing I did was measure the twine so it was long enough to wrap all the way around. And then I tied it to the back. After cutting off the excess twine, I flipped it back over and put the little clothespin on the front where I want my picture to hang. It doesn't really matter where you put these because you can move them. They're not going to be attached. Then at the bottom, I'm going to take the twine and fish it through the burlap and tie it to each side. This will help hold the picture into place. Once I get it through here, I tie a knot and I do the same on the opposite side.
After doing all four sides, I finish putting on the clothespins and then I flip it over to put the hanger on. So to put the hanger on, I'm going to take some red twine and I'm going to loop it through where we put the wire ties on to hold these together. That gives it enough of a sturdy base to be able to hang this from and support the weight. So I just tie that in a simple knot, measure it to length so I can see how high I, or how low I want it to hang, and then tie the other side down. Once your hanger is attached, the last thing to do is to choose your photos you wish to hang on your project. We hope you guys love the finished project as much as we do. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It's free. And if you like this video, please remember to hit that thumbs up. If you make this project, we'd love to see photos of it in the comments, so go ahead and post those below. And if you haven't already, you can hit that notification bell if you subscribe, and YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video, which is usually every other day. Thanks for watching.